What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to play the intro to Steve Vai's Building the Church without using right hand tapping. If you're not familiar with uh, that intro, it goes like this. Um, and uh, the way it's done, it's, it's um, three tones with the right hand and then two tones with the left hand and they just alternate. Uh, you know, so that's it. So, can this be played without using right hand tapping? Yes, it can. Can you play it as fast as you can with two hand uh, tapping? Probably not. <laughs> so, wh why would you want to do it? Um, I'm thinking that if you want to play on something that's not like a metal track or something, um, using tapping can be kind of, you know, not in the style. Um, you, you really need a lot of gain to, to make it, you know, pop out and such. So, I was going to show you how to play this um, on like a blues rock track, similar to, to the one, if you've seen the movie Crossroads, the final final guitar challenge, they play, they play something like this. So on a track like that, you know, you could, of course, if you want to play like blues uh, stuff, um, you know, and then if you want to use that, <laughs> it takes time, for, first of all, to, to get them to do that stuff. So if you do it with one hand, you are a little bit more uh, free to do it. So I'll show you how uh, to do it. I'm actually going to divide my left hand in two. Uh, one part is going to be my third and fourth finger, and the uh, second part is going to be my first and second. So, uh, the riff you can read it on the top goes like this. So, uh, what these three fingers, uh, I mean these two, they play, that's what the right hand will do. That's what I'm going to do with my second and first finger. And I'm going to pick that with the pick. And the tones in between are going to be my little finger on the 15th fret. And that's going to be a hammer on. And then I'm going to do a hammer on on the 15th fret of the A string with my second finger. So you get... That's going to probably take some time to, to get the hang of, but I'll show you some uh, cool application for it. Um, first of all, uh, if you, n we're now playing blues in A, you can play it uh, on several different places and it's going to work great over, over A. So I'll start by showing it in, uh, starting on the fifth fret. And this is going to give A, which is the root, kind of a major feel as opposed to minor. We're actually not playing any thirds, but we're playing this 13th here, if you want to know the theory. As, and um, it's just going to give it a little bit of a major feeling. And the next position is going to be the starting on the 8th fret. Like this. Which is also really great. Uh, you can then move to um, the 10th fret. You want to check. Uh, there, there are no tones that that are gonna, you know, crash with, <laughs> with the tonality that we're in. And also, you can play it on on the place that we originally played it, starting on the 13th fret. Fifteenth and seventeenth, which will be the octave for for the fifth. So let's check that out. It 
it is kind of like a pattern, you know. Uh, often you play stuff like a blues kind of. Uh, so this is a it's kind of that that pattern, but you know you you will turn some heads if you suddenly play this on a blues jam. I mean, that's something that people aren't used to hearing. I, I would think. Um, another cool way of using it is you can kind of play it and then do like a question and answer thing. So you play this and, you, and then you answer by play it again. With a comp. is that you can, um, you don't have to play the whole thing, you can play just, just this little part and then kind of move it, uh, that's just those positions I, 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 I taught you. And that's it. Um, check that out. Uh, it takes, you know, have patience. It's gonna, <laughs> it's probably gonna take some time to learn it. If you wanna wanna see more lessons, I do live lessons um, three times a week. It's at mortenslesson.com. And um, yeah, see you there. I hope. Bye bye. Have a great day.